Welcome, dear brothers and sisters, to Mother and Refuge of the End Times. The following are thoughts and information published on March the 4th, 2024 in the Sun Star. Medjugorje Visionary, we are here on Earth, but our destination is Heaven. Some of the latest messages from our Lord Jesus and our Blessed Mother are addressed particularly to believers to whom they are urging to persevere and pray and do sacrifices for those who do not yet believe and remain unconverted. One message urged believers to bear the crosses of about two-thirds of mankind who have gone spiritually astray so as to spare them from going to hell. Some messages have become rather explicit about what's coming. A mystic known as Lorena of Mexico, who is under the guidance of a priest, recently received a message allegedly from the Blessed Mother pleading to believers to recite certain prayers, including the Chaplet of Divine Mercy, and to fast at least thrice a week for two weeks starting on March the 4th, 2024. The Blessed Mother was also quoted to have said that the prophesied warning which will precede the Great Chastisement will come earlier than was initially in the Divine Plan because too much sin has pervaded the world. Incidentally, there will be a total solar eclipse on April the 9th, which is the day after Divine Mercy Sunday when plenary indulgence can be given to all who comply with the requirements of the Church. I cite this for possible spiritual significance because the eclipse will cast shadow on seven areas named Nineveh in the United States including those in Texas, Missouri, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and New York. This is interesting on account of the biblical episode on a place called Nineveh, whose people were warned of divine punishment unless they repented of misdeeds, which they did. Even in Medjugorje in Bosnia-Herzegovina, where the Blessed Mother has been appearing and issuing messages since 1981, the spark of urgency has become manifest. But from there too is the call from the Blessed Mother not to be afraid, as we humans are destined for eternity and called to perfect happiness in heaven. In this light, I am sharing the following interview of Father Livio Fangaza, head of Radio Maria and regarded as the voice of Medjugorje apparitions. The interview was held in 2022 and involved Medjugorje visionary Maria. The interview was held after the Blessed Mother in Medjugorje said the following message on March the 25th, 2022. Dear children, I hear your cry and prayers for peace. For years, Satan has been fighting for war. Therefore, God has sent me among you to guide you on the path of holiness, because humanity is at the crossroads. I invite you, return to God and to God's commandments, to feel good on earth and to get out of this crisis you have entered because you do not listen to God who loves you and wants to save you and guide you towards new life. Thank you for answering my call. Here's the interview. Father Livio, Maria, do you think there is a danger of a nuclear world war? Is this period real or is it just a way the devil uses to scare? Maria, I don't want to go into detail about the secrets, but Father Livio, did you feel me nervous? No, we are not agitated because we believe that the Madonna is with us. We believe that the Madonna, as she herself says, listens to our cry and our prayers. I believe that Our Lady is with us. God has allowed her, as she has said countless times, to be among us to help us. I believe that the 40 years of the Madonna's presence among us are precisely this. Humanity is at the crossroads. Our Lady is with us. She is on our side. Satan is strong. Our Lady said it in several messages. Satan is unleashed. You said so at the opening of this new millennium. We know that evil exists, and many times it uses us through our selfishness and arrogance. Many times we also do harm, because we don't have that sensitivity, that love of God that is within us. We live with the humanity of a rebellious man without listening to God's commandments. Our Lady, precisely for this reason, with her sweetness and her constancy, guides us to tell us that God is with us and that we must not be afraid. Father Livio In a message from a few months ago, Our Lady said that Satan wants to fill our hearts with fear for the future, but the future belongs to God. One of Satan's tactics is to terrify us, when instead we must know that the presence of the Madonna and our response to her call allows us to live well on earth. Maria. This is why Our Lady tells us, I invite you, return to God and to God's commandments, to feel good on earth. We are here on earth, but our destination is heaven. We have the example of Lazarus, who was a friend of Jesus, who when he entered the tomb his sisters told him that he stank, as if to say that he was already decomposing. Instead, Jesus came in and resurrected him. Lazarus then died again after a few years. So we too must think that our life on earth is beautiful, let us be guided by God, by His commandments, live holiness, try to transmit our faith with our life, with our example, and with our love. Why are we in love with the Madonna? 
because the Madonna is the reflection of God, and God is love. For this reason, I believe that we too must become that reflection of God and that love that Our Lady shares and is experiencing with us. For this reason, at the crossroads in our lives, we know that our goal is paradise, but at the same time our commitment and our work must not be consumption and selfish materialism. Our Lady says to put God in place of the self. When we begin to find this harmony and peace between the self and God, then our heart is filled with joy. We have seen many times people arrive at Medjugorje with big cars, with wealth, but there is no joy inside them. When you find God, when you find Our Lady, then you experience heaven in your heart, and no one can take this away from you. End of interview. Despite repeated calls from heaven for conversion, many seem to have shelved how people turned out to be saints. Not one saint lived lives of power, privilege and pleasure as reward for holiness on earth. Rather, they all renounced the world. Thus, the Blessed Mother again reminded us that because of mankind's sins, the way to heaven is the way of the cross, which our Lord Jesus himself showed us through his sufferings. In her message to mystic Pedro Regis last February 20th, the Blessed Mother said, Dear children, the way to heaven goes through the cross. Do not be discouraged. My Jesus loves you and will always be with you. Difficult times will come for the righteous. Humanity will drink the bitter cup of suffering, but do not lose your hope. After all of the tribulation, you will see the powerful hand of God act in favor of men and women of faith. Be defenders of the truth. Do not be afraid. The things of the world will pass away, but God's grace in you will be eternal. Seek strength in the Eucharist and in the words of my Jesus. You will be called to the table where the bread is just bread. Stay with what has always been the truth. Your true food contains body, blood, soul and divinity. Defend this truth everywhere and you will be rewarded with heaven. Onward without fear. This is the message that I give you today in the name of the Most Holy Trinity. Thank you for having allowed me to gather you here once more. I bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be at peace. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Thank you for watching Mother and Refuge of the End Times. Please see our prayer book, Pieta of the Apocalypse. Follow the link for the details. Medjugorje visionary Mariana had her annual apparition of Our Lady today, Monday, March 18th, 2024. Several years after Our Lady stopped appearing to Mariana daily, she began to appear to Mariana on the second of each month. Our Lady ended her second of the month apparitions to Mariana on March 18, 2020, and from then Our Lady has only appeared to Mariana on March the 18th. Our Lady appeared to her today in Medjugorje, Monday, March 18th, 2024. Our Lady appeared at 1.23 p.m. Medjugorje time, and the apparition lasted for four minutes. By the merciful love of God, I am with you. That is why, as a mother, I am calling you to believe in love, the love that is union with my Son. With love, you help others to open their hearts to come to know my Son and to come to love Him. My children, Love makes it for my son to illuminate your hearts with his grace, to grow in you, and to give you peace. My children, if you live love, if you live my son, you will have peace and you will be happy. In love is victory. Thank you. Thank you for your support. May God bless you and keep you, and may the Immaculate Heart of Mary be your refuge. Welcome to Mother in Refuge of the End Times. We are thrilled to be releasing our latest prayer book titled The Most Holy Rosary, Prayers and Mystical Meditations of Saints and Seers. The Most Holy Rosary is one of the greatest prayers in the history of the Church. Garnished as it is with the testimony of saints and popes for the last thousand years, the only prayers that could be said to be greater are those of the Mass in the divine office, yet many still seek ways to enter into the deeper mansions of spiritual richness to be found in this devotion. To assist with this process, Mother and Refuge of the End Times has compiled revelations and meditations from some of the most notable and popular Catholic mystics and saints. 
These mystics were gifted with first-hand revelations by means of visions and apparitions of the life of our Lord Jesus and His Holy Mother. We have selected some writings from these remarkable revelations to assist in the meditation of each of the 20 mysteries of the Holy Rosary. The main mystic meditations featured are St. Padre Pio, Blessed Anne Catherine Emmerich, Servant of God, Don Delindo Rotolo, Servant of God Luisa Picaretta, Maria Valtorta, and others. In addition, this unique Rosary Prayer Book contains both the Latin and English prayers of the Rosary. It has been originally illustrated by our own Catholic religious illustrator with over 23 inspiring illustrations that will surely lift your hearts in prayer and in fervor. This is a Rosary Prayer Book that will surely be a classic. As always, we thank you all for your continued support of our prayer book ministry and our channel. May God bless you and keep you, and may the Immaculate Heart of Mary be your refuge. Amen.